Good morning and welcome back. Right now we are going to talk about a event that's very near and dear to my heart, the 2024 Har Rochester Harvest Moon Festival. So excited that this is coming back to our area. I'm joined right now by Professor Sung Min Shin, uh, who is our interim president of Apapa Rochester. First of all, Professor Shin, welcome. Hi, thank you, Michaela, for having me here. Yeah, so talk to me first. Uh, we had such a great year, I think, for the 2023 Rochester Harvest Moon Festival. First one ever did. Uh, what did we enjoy so much about that experience, and what new do we hope to bring to our 2024 season? Yeah, we had an amazing event last year. We, you know, we were all uh, uh, very nervous about how it was going to go down because it's the first time you know doing the event. But we had an amazing turnout. We had great vendors, food, um, music, dance, artisans, cultural activities, and uh, it was a big success. And and uh, that's why we ended up doing the Lunar New Year Festival in in, in February this year as well. Um, so this is our second year with the Harvest Moon Festival, and um, it'll be the the same uh, format: uh, one day festival, Saturday, uh, September 21st, from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Uh, performances, food, lots of food, and uh, culture activities. And uh, it will, I think, be a little bit bigger than last year because there's a lot of uh, anticipation. And since we had such a great event last year, uh, we had so many more people that wanted to be involved this year, which is a really great, a lot of great energy. Yeah, I think I remember uh, you telling me we had about 4,000 people come out last year, the inaugural year, so great for that, hoping for more this year. Uh, now, we previously talked about uh, Harvest Moon, the importance of it to uh, many Asian cultures. How would you describe uh, the importance of the Harvest Moon, but also of this festival here in our region to maybe folks who are unfamiliar? Right. In, um well, I think it's actually fairly universal in most cultures, but particularly in um, East and Southeast Asian and South uh, Asian cultures, uh, uh, doing a big harvest uh, festival is a, a, a pretty common uh, tradition, and it, it's usually a major holiday, and, and actually typically um, akin to the American Thanksgiving. Uh, it's, it's commonly a time of year where you, you visit your um, hometown if, you're, if you don't live back home, and uh, it's mostly a family gathering. Uh, of sorts, and and various cultures do different types of um, public, you know, festivals and events like that too. Um, here for us in Rochester, uh, in the United States, uh, many of the uh, Asian, you know, American Pacific Islander communities are are um, not originally from here, and and many of us have, have moved here, immigrated here, and uh, so um, our visiting back home can be a, a, a bit of a challenge. So um, it's it's a great way for us to come together as a community and, and become one uh, one big family. And also uh, within the uh, AAPI community, uh, particularly, it's a great way for us to uh, mingle and have cross cultural um, activities and understanding, and, and also just to the larger uh, Rochester community in general. Yeah, great showing for our Asian and Pacific Islander cultures here. Uh, you mentioned family friendly. It's going to have food and the vendors, so many fun performances. So if folks are intrigued by what we've talked about today, uh, final call, how can they come out and enjoy this festival? Well, uh, the event is open to the public. Uh, like you mentioned, it's family friendly and um, uh, people can register for a free ticket to the event on our website. Um, if you if you go to event create uh, com uh, slash 2024 Harvest Moon Festival. You can look us up and uh, we have a Facebook event page. You can look us up also and um, you can get a free ticket if you'd like, um, but all are, are welcome to attend. Uh, there will be lots of food, lots of performances and a great way for us to all come together. Yeah, it's going to be uh, that Saturday, September 21st, uh, down in Pittsburgh. We cannot wait. Uh, all the information for how you can participate, we will also have that information on rochesterfirst.com. Can't wait to welcome you to the Harvest Moon Festival.